Have you ever wanted to create a retro title card? Well, that's what we're gonna do today. Let's jump into After Effects. This is just a red, simple background. And to this solid, we've got a CC vignette effect applied, which is creating these vignette borders. And we also have a turbulent displace effect applied. And it's very, very subtle here when I turn it on. You can kind of just see it here in the edges. And to both of these effects, if I go down to the timeline here and hit UU, you're gonna see that there are expressions applied, wiggle expressions. This is one of my favorite expressions. I use it all the time for different keyframes like position, scale, or effects. So if I preview this, we've got some vignette that's kind of pulsing in and out. We've got a little bit of turbulent displays that's making some interesting movement on the screen here. We're going to turn on our type and the type here says the, and then we've got motion science with some texture in it. We've got membership and we've got it's your pathway to mastering motion design. Thought it'd be fun to create a retro title card for the motion science membership. And that's what this is. If you haven't checked it out, definitely check out the membership. Now, these are very, very simple. It's your pathway has a very simple effect, a drop shadow applied and a very simple Gaussian blur without it's very clear with it's just kind of blurred out like we want it to be right. We're going for that kind of old look. Membership has a very subtle three pixel Gaussian blur applied. Motion Science has got a Gaussian blur applied and then it has a preset we've got going on here for this kind of dark, deep shadow that extrudes from the type. And that's how we're getting this kind of black extruded look here. And then we have a grunge texture sitting above Motion Science here. And if I turn that on, you can see this is the grunge texture and Motion Science is luma matting that grunge texture to create some very subtle texture that we can see here within the letters. And that's it. If I preview this, you're just seeing there's a little bit of movement on the vignette and a little bit of turbulent displace on the background. Let's move into the next composition here. We've got our grunge texture here. First layer, we're gonna turn that on. You can see it's set to a color dodge mode and it's creating some nice texture over the top. Again, we've got another texture this one is making a little bit darker, set to soft light, like we can see here. And we've got the inverted background texture. Now, if I solo this, it is actually a black image with white specs. And we've just applied the invert effect to make it a white image with specs here. And if we play this, you can see this is creating some, some nice noise. This is from a texture pack from Motion Science. And then on top of all this, we have a camera. If I hit AA, you're going to see we have depth of field turned on. So it gives it even more interesting depth to it. We've got the camera moving slightly on the X position and the Y position. Again, we're using the wiggle expression here. So if I preview this, you can see now we've got some jitter in our composition here. So it looks like this is a film strip, right? I've got some other YouTube tutorials out there where I kind of talk about this. But we're playing around with some different wiggle expressions here. We've got a value of 16 comma one. This is a frequency and an amplitude, right? So 16 times per second, it's moving by one pixel on the X axis and 16 times per second, we're moving by two pixels on the Y position. So it looks like some interesting wiggle happening here. Now in this next composition, we've got some adjustment layers over the top here. This first one is a fractal noise adjustment layer with some tent and posterized time to kind of slow it down. So you can see it moving more when it's over the top of the background here. It's just creating a little additional texture. You know, look here on the edges, you can kind of see it there. So the next one we have is an adjustment layer for noise. And this gives it more of that analog feel, a little bit less digital. You can see a lot of those noise particles. If I zoom in here, you can see them happening here. If I turn that off, it looks cool, but it's way more digital, right? So now we've got this noise and maybe it's too much noise. Sometimes I tend to go over the top of the noise, but we could also turn off color noise and just have it be black and white, which I actually prefer that. I feel like it fits a little bit better here. Then we've got posterized time over the top. So now if we play that, it's gonna make everything more steppy, right? Our composition is set to a frame rate of 24 frames per second. So everything's moving at 24 frames per second, but then with posterized time, it makes everything slow down to 16. So it gets more steppy. We could even decrease this to something like 12 frames per second and make it even more steppy. Over the top of that, we've got chromatic aberration. This is just quick chromatic aberration three. It's just a very subtle effect that I apply to a lot of the work. And then a blur sharpen adjustment layer over the top, which has got a fast box blur and a sharpen filter. So if I just pause this here and I turn this on, 
you're going to see now everything got this kind of retro look, right? Like this is without, let's go ahead and zoom in again. And this is with, it's still kind of digital at this point. This makes it even more organic. So that's looking really cool. And we're going to take it one more step here. This is just a camera lens blur effect with a simple expression applied to the blur radius five times per second. We're going to adjust the blur radius by a value of one. And this adjustment layer is referencing this blur map on top of it. If I solo this, you can see this is a fractal noise map, right? Which is just slowly moving. And what the blur map below it is doing is it's looking at the white, gray, and black values. And based on those values, it's creating blur over the image or it's not. So there's certain parts of the image that are more in focus and other parts that aren't. It's a very subtle effect, but it takes the work up a notch, right? It's all about these little subtleties in our finishing. And the final adjustment layer we have here is called Polish. And that is just a Lumetri color effect that we're doing some very basic correction on. And if I hit UU on this one, you're gonna see we have a wiggle expression here that is applied to the exposure. A lot of old film has a kind of a flicker exposure pulse that happens throughout of it. If you study old film, you're gonna see it. So that's what we're replicating here with Lumetri color. And then we've got a transform effect applied as well, just scaling in 101%, because if I turn this off, you're gonna see we have this edge here on the left, the top, the bottom, the right side. And so we just transform, we just push in just slightly here to get rid of that edge. And there you go, there is our retro title card for the Motion Science membership. It's your pathway to mastering motion design. I think it looks super cool, super happy with this simple technique. I really hope you enjoyed this Motion Science motion design tutorial. My name is Cameron and I'll see you next time.